Thank you, and Representative Landsman, uh, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you, Secretary. I appreciate it. I just want to uh, comment on uh, a point that was made about spending and our budget. Uh, obviously, this is a hearing about the important investments we make in veterans, and uh, I, I agree that we can no longer pay lip service to this issue. I think there's a debate as to how we resolve it, and I, many of us, uh, including a lot of Republicans, uh, believe that it's about paying uh, a person's fair share in taxes. And if you get to a place where our tax code is fixed and everyone is paying their fair share, uh, we'll have a balanced budget and we won't have to do anything to undermine uh, the work that you're doing to help veterans. Um, I went to our VA, uh, we have a great VA facility in Cincinnati uh, the, this past week. I was, as I always am when I'm there, really taken by the professionalism, the, the care, the compassion, but also just how packed uh, our VA always is. And the fact that when folks come in, they get tremendous care. I mean, they get the best care and the data uh, says as much. Um, I have just a few comments, you're, you're happy, uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to have you comment on them. They're not questions as much as they are, just things I would love to put on, you know, put in the record and share with you. One is, when a veteran comes in, they get great care. Uh, on the mental health issue in Cincinnati in particular, incredible, incredible care. Uh, nearly half of those veterans who commit suicide, however, never receive mental health care. So I think one of the questions is how do we look at what others are doing in terms of best practices, uh, getting out into the community, doing that outreach. Social media is one thing, uh, earned media, one th you know, how do we get to where their folks are living and build those relationships? Because I think those are dollars well spent uh, to get them in the door and that's boots on the ground uh, more than anything else. Uh, number two, there is a big backlog uh, in claims. Uh, obviously, the PACT Act is a big part of that. Uh, I think something around 20, uh, 200,000. Uh, so as you're looking at the budget and investments, I think investing in the staffing required to alleviate those backlogs is gonna be really important. And then three, I'm really glad that you mentioned Mr. D Mr. Del Benny and his work because he was instrumental in making sure the ACA, uh, that system worked. And having his leadership to me will be transformative and not doing anything to undermine his ability to get this thing where we need it to be is, is really important. And so I'm glad you said that. So with that, I yield back m my time unless the secretary wants to comment on any of those. Well, I, I, out of sensitivity to everybody's time, let me take and come see you about the specific things we're doing on outreach. I agree with you very much. And then, uh, you know, uh, what are we also doing to find veterans who are not tethered to us, but maybe tethered to something else? I've talked to some members of the committee about interesting other technologies, capabilities, processes, and, you know, there's one called, I think it's called Towering Oaks. Um, that we're now looking into because one of the members has raised that with us. So let's find vets where they are. Yeah. Let's support what works. And let's take care of them. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, and thank you for being with us again today. We're very deeply appreciative of your work here.